in relativity, the rear clock is always ahead in the moving frame. When we Lorentz transform to get the coordinates of a moving frame, notice how their grid changes from a square looking one into an oblique looking one. This change in the geometry has the consequence of the relativity of simultaneous events. Let's see how it works. These three clocks are on the x prime axis, meaning they would be synchronized at t prime equals zero in the moving frame. If we project them onto the t-axis though, we can see that they're clearly not synchronized in the ground frame. If a ground observer was to measure all three of these clocks simultaneously at their same positions, they would have different delta t's the further they are from this line. So the rear clock would end up being ahead. We can do the same thing for clocks that are synced on the ground frame. The projection works a little differently now due to the oblique coordinates. We draw lines parallel to the x prime axis and project down onto the t prime axis. If the moving observer measured these simultaneously, the origin clock gets the largest rewind and the clock further to the right is ahead. Remember, for the moving frame it is the clocks that are moving backwards, so the clock to the right is again the rear clock. To quantify this delay, we need to relate these three points to each other. We can do this surprisingly easily with this Lorentz transformation. Why this one? Well, the bottom point has t equals zero and let's call it x equals l, and the one on the x prime axis will just have t prime equals zero. And once we plug that into the transformation, we just need to set this parenthesis to zero to find a value for t. We just cancel the gamma and we can plug in the x equals l and in the end we simply get t is equal to lv over c squared. This is a very general formula for how much delay there is between simultaneous events with respect to how far apart they are. For a more in-depth explanation check out the video linked below. There we also use this effect to resolve a paradox and see why it's so important that 